prayerfully binding the household strong men blocking your destiny. And a man foes shall be they of his own household. Matthew 10 verse 36. No man shall enter a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Mark 3 verse 27. You are welcome to the 35th convocation of this prestigious university and I present to you this year's graduates. A round of applause for them. Congratulations to all of you. We are so proud of you and we're rooting for all of you. Honorary mention to the best graduates from each department. We have a prize for you. I hope you go out there and do us proud. See you at the top. Congratulations on your convocation my son. You did it and I am so proud of you. Thank you mum. I am so grateful to you for the sacrifice and your support. Dad must be looking at us from heaven and smiling. I believe he will be so proud of you. We thank God for the grace, strength and provision. Your uncle is here, say hi to him. Congratulations, my dear nephew. Your father must be happy wherever he is. Thank you, uncle. By the way, you look so good. If I didn't know you, I would have thought that you're also convocating. You're making me blush. Thank you so much, but it's already too late for me to go to school. It's never too late, uncle. You can do it if you're passionate about going to school. I'll think about it. Let's take some pictures together. You know I am putting on my best suit, because today is a day of celebration. Mother of the celebrant, come and join us. Let me introduce myself. I am the strong man of this household. Spiritually, I am in charge of this family. Uncle, is that you? You know that I don't allow people to excel in this family. Anyone who tries to excel in life in this family dies young. Your father is an example. I have set a limitation over this family. I block the destiny of men and women in this household. I have set boundaries that no one should cross and I will see to it that it's not broken or else you'll face the penalty. The pattern must be maintained. You went to school and you've graduated. I can see that you're trying to excel and because of that, I place a judgment on you. You are in my court and I'll pass a decree. You'll remain jobless. You are not allowed to get a good job. I mean, you can work but you'll be living from hand to mouth. I block your destiny today. If you try to excel, you'll face the consequences. I don't understand what I saw in that dream. Strong man? But that's my uncle. How can he pass judgment on me when he's not God? I know that I see things in my dream but I don't think my uncle can do that. Someone is definitely using his face and God is trying to show me something. Good morning, Mum. Morning to the latest graduate in town. What do you want for breakfast? Anything will do. Mum, I had a dream last night, but I don't understand what it means. So tell me what you saw in the dream. I saw Uncle Peter in that dream. He was sitting on a throne and he said that he is the strong man of our household. That no one is supposed to excel in our family and that the implication is death. He said that he's judging me and the punishment is that I should remain jobless. God forbid. You will not be jobless. God is showing you something. You should have rebuked him and cancel every evil judgment over your life. We are children of God and we have put on the whole armor of God. We will prayerfully take down this strong man. But mom, I doubt Uncle Peter can do such a thing. He's been very supportive and happy for me that's why I'm confused. Whether it's him or not. You need to prayerfully bind any strong man working against you. Don't wait for this dream to come to pass before you pray. It's better to pray and cancel it now. We've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus therefore we are not part of the old order. Jesus paid it all on the cross. My son, if there is anything I've learned from your father's death is to pray. I saw it in the dream, but I was feeling reluctant to pray. You have to take spiritual responsibility for your life. Confess the word of God over your life, pray strong prayers that will rout the enemy. This is the key to overcoming life issues. 
The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 to 5, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. If Ephesians 6 verse 11 to 12 says, Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I don't care who the person is but we will prayerfully bind the strong man of this household. Who is a strong man? A strong man is a man that maintains the evil patterns in a family, to see that it is not broken. A strong man blocks the destiny of members of their household. Get ready to pray tonight. We will be praying together and we will definitely win this battle, because the Lord is on our side. David defeated Goliath who was stronger physically than him because God was on his side. He took down Goliath with just a stone. There is nothing too hard for God to do. Yes, Mum. I'm charged to pray and stop this strong man before he stops me. That's the spirit. Before we start praying, I want you to understand who we are praying against. A household strong man is a familiar personality that causes blockage and delays. He or she is someone who hates you and seeks to harm you or cause trouble. Their agenda is to prevent people from having testimony in areas where they are believing God for. The word of God and prayers are our weapons of spiritual warfare which we can use in binding the strong men. With the word of God and prayers, you can bind the strong men and take back your destiny. As Christians, the word of God is our battle axe. According to the word of God in Matthew 18 verse 18, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Who is that strong man standing against the fulfillment of your glorious destiny? Who is the strong man that has concluded your matter? Who is the strong man that says over their body will you marry, prosper or bear children? Just one direct word from God can subdue the strong man forever. Oh yes. Now, let's pray. Thank God for his faithfulness over our lives and ask for the forgiveness of sin. We ask for mercy O Lord and we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Say Father, according to your word in Matthew 18 verse 18, I bind and cast out the strong man destroying all my efforts in Jesus name. I bind and cast out the strong man of failure at the edge of my breakthroughs. I bind and cast out every idolatry strong man of my father's house and mother's house in Jesus name. I bind and cast out the strong man standing at the gate of my destiny. I bind and cast out the strong man pursuing me in my dream. My father, my father, every evil pronouncement made on my life by any strong man, I cancel it by fire in Jesus' name. Every chief judge in my father's house standing to pronounce sentence upon my life or members of my family, O oh ye strong man, what are you waiting for? Be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Every strong man of death assigned against me or any member of this family, I bind and cast you into the fire. Be destroyed in Jesus' name. I bind and cast out every foundational strong man kidging my destiny, kidging my children's destiny. Your curse upon their destiny will not stand. It is only the word of God that will stand for who is he that saith when the Lord has not commanded it? Isaiah 49 verse 25 but thus saith the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered, for I will contend with him that contendeth with thee and I will save thy children. Father, contend with those fighting against us and save my children. Every weapon fashioned against us shall not prosper and every tongue that shall rise in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Isaiah 54 verse 17 I command every tongue rising up against us in judgment to be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject every household strong man attached to my life. Let the blood of Jesus separate me from the stronghold of darkness in Jesus' name. Power of God, expose every strange person secretly pulling me down. 
Every household agent of darkness using curse to rope me, catch fire in Jesus' name. I command every arrow from household strongmen affecting the agenda of God for my life to backfire in Jesus' name. I decree that as from today, no more limitations. I will enjoy the goodness of God in the land of the living. I must succeed in every side. No strong man will convert my destiny to shame. Every open door that the household strong man is using to gain grounds in my life, receive the blood of Jesus and be closed forever. By the blood of Jesus, I am redeemed from the venom of household strong man and I withdraw all my blessings from their evil altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for answered prayers in Jesus name. Amen. Somebody help. My altar is on fire. The gods must be angry with me. I see that it's that my stubborn nephew and his mother that are doing this to me. I will deal with them. I have loosed all my powers. I'm powerless now. I am powerless. I have a mail. Dear Felix, we are happy to inform you that in line with the promise made by the state government to all the best graduates from each department, you've been offered a job. Please, come to the government house tomorrow with your credentials. We look forward to working with you. Thank you. Yours faithfully, Secretary to the State Government. You. Mum, come and see. I am so happy. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord for you have done what no man can do. I promise to always pay my tithe and give to the fatherless and orphan. Hello friends. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and please always support by watching the adverts. Thank you for watching. God bless you and perfect all that concerns you. May his face continually shine on you in Jesus name. Amen.